What's up, everyone, and welcome back to HBCU Game Day. I am Simone Stanley, and today we have a very special guest. He is an incoming safety for Bethune-Cookman University, Raymond Woody III. Spent some time at Cal, spent some time at Florida State, but now he is a wildcat. Raymond, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. So how does it feel to be officially a wildcat? Man, it feels great. I mean, the last couple of days I've been doing registration, got a chance to be around everybody. I mean, it's crazy. Like the love is unmatched. I feel like like the HBCU community, not just the Wildcat Nation, but everybody just been showing a whole bunch of love. All my new teammates, all the new coaches. It's been great. A great experience so far. What has it been like? the last few seasons playing at Cal, playing in the Pac-12. How have you seen your game grow over the years? Uh, I feel like ment mentally, definitely, like just being more of a student at a game, being around football most of my life, my dad being a coach, I feel like I had a good knowledge of the game, but just that, and I feel like physically, just putting on a lot more muscle, speed, stuff like that. I feel like that's kind of how my games evolve the most. What was your time like at Cal, all the way on the West Coast, coming from Florida? Man, it was crazy. Like, all my teammates would be like, man, you coming all the way from Florida, all the way across the country. I mean, it was a good experience, though. Like, just being able to add that to my repertoire, I guess. Like, just being able to, like you said, go across the country, graduate from the number one public university in the world is like, something like you don't you don't see too many people from florida being able to do that so it was a blessing definitely but i mean i'm definitely glad to be back home in florida though what was it like playing football on the west coast especially growing up playing in florida in the south where it's so big i'm sure the culture had to be different over there yeah it definitely was different i mean just game day uh atmosphere game day experience i feel like just the student body, I guess, you just know it's a lot more serious down south. Like, it's nothing like football down south, I feel like. It doesn't get better than this. Right. So what made you want to enter the transfer portal and find a new home? Uh, Really? I mean, it was my last season. I mean, I dealt with a few injuries, and I feel like it was a great opportunity for me just to test the waters, you know, I was going into it kind of unsure of what I wanted to do. I mean, I know I have like a good amount of options when I entered, but I ended up entering a portal, thinking about it, praying about it, um, man. And then got a good amount of offers. And then, I mean, my dad being a head coach, I was like, man, it's an opportunity. Like, I can't really pass up. I know it's a surprise to a lot of people. Like a lot of people didn't think I have any interest and stuff like that. I mean, even some of the coaches on staff was kind of surprised. I feel like when I came there, but I mean, I had a chance just to, it was it's bigger than me at the end of the day. That's what I told everybody. That's what I tell the guys I try and recruit in to come like, let's just do something different. Like it's bigger than us. Like let's put HBCUs on a platform, let everybody know, like, it can be done here. You know what I mean? And then just getting the opportunity, like I said, to play for my pops, help him out. It's just a blessing. It's all a blessing. I mean, Christmas Day, I kind of surprised them by committing. Uh, I got a chance to talk to the D.C. coach, Wimberly, and my granddad. So we was all in on it. We was sitting there, uh, drove down to my grandparents' house. And my granddad kept telling my dad, like, check your phone, check your phone. And my dad's like, what you talking about? Check your phone. And I have posted it and his phone was blowing up. And he was like, man, you got to let me know these things. And it was just all laughing. It was a good time. How did y'all pull off that surprise? Man, I mean, I had told my pops, I was like, yeah, you know, I kind of want to just wait it out. You know, I don't know when I want to sign. I want to take some visits. I had a lot of calls. And then Christmas, I mean, got a chance to talk to a couple people. And just, I just felt like it was right. I was like, what better Christmas gift than that? You know what I mean? That's awesome. So I know he was super excited. Super excited. He was running around the house, <laughs> answering <laughs> calls, excited. Finally, after 30 minutes, he got a chance to sit down after taking so many calls. And then 
it all sunk in. He's super excited about it. You should have recorded that. That probably would have went viral. I should have. I should have. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't, but it was a great time. Definitely something we won't ever forget. So when you enter the portal, you were already thinking Bethune Cookman? Uh, yeah, I definitely thought it was an option. A lot of people would ask me, like, oh, you going to Cookman? I was like, nah, definitely not. No, I'm not. <laughs> but <laughs> In the back of my head, I always knew, like, it was just an opportunity I couldn't pass up. And just even being that cow being injured, like, for most of the season, I mean, the time I played, played pretty solid. But just being able to sit back on some Saturdays when I wasn't playing and catching the games or, like, being in the locker room and trying to watch the games here and there, you know what I mean? And I'm just watching, like, man just thinking like I really can go down there and make a big impact and do something different and like have the influence and respect of my peers to get guys to want to also come down and help. Like, why not? Why not here? So what is it like trying to recruit, you know, your teammates and the guys, you know, to Bethune Cookman? Is it, what's that process like? Because I'm sure they have other people trying to recruit them too. Yeah, for me, I mean, really, it's just reaching out to guys who are like-minded. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, the era of NIL, everybody just want to get the most money or get the most perks. But, I mean, I feel like with us, we got guys who really love football, who really want to make a difference, who really want to be trendsetters. So that's what I look for. I mean, it's definitely you reach out to people and they're like, oh, I'm not interested or whatever. And then you reach out to a couple of people who really love the game and like, man, we got a chance to do something different like that's what I preach like I get on the phone and I'm like I mean you can go to all these other schools but we got a great opportunity here like you look at all these other schools like we can come in and do something special we can flip it we can change it make a change and why not have all the NFL scouts come to us why not do it here like there's no difference I just want people just to know like you we have the platform it's up to the players it's not the name it's the players and the people in the building like that's what you have to really sit down and what i would encourage all athletes coming out like give every school a chance you know what i mean like coming out of high school like i would have never thought you know what i mean playing an unarmored game playing in the opening like being able to be blessed like that, I would have never thought being able to go to an HBCU. But just being around the past two days, getting a chance to go to the basketball game and stuff, like, love is unmatched. Like, it's nothing like it. And I really haven't seen anything yet. Bethune Cookman has been getting a lot of big time transfers. Are, are these your friends? Are these the guys you're recruiting? Or? Uh, yeah. my uh, One of my good friends, Orrin, Trey. Uh, they, I played with him at Cal, uh, Dallas, Corbett. I got a chance. I know, I know of him just throughout mutual friends, uh, Courtney Reese. Like I was really just one day I was just on the transfer portal late night. I'm looking, I'm watching this film. I'm like, man, who is this? Like he ain't get picked up by nobody. So I hit him up like, man, let's, let's do something special. You know what I mean? And then I get a chance to just meet a lot of the guys who are committed and then just guys seeing the buzz. Like it's a lot of people like now hit me up. Like, man, I'm trying to do something special too. I want to do something special too. So it's just like, it's a great feeling just to know, like it's a lot of guys out there that's like-minded and are starting to see the vision. You know what I mean? Like that's just something that's real special. So you're the big time recruiter at Bethune. I can't even take credit for that. My pops, I mean, I got to say, he to close it. He to close it. He always, he finished the job every time. Like, he always finished the job. They get on the phone with him, and it's like, man, hey, it's a done deal. But I mean, so, everybody on staff, really, though. I didn't mean to cut you off, but everybody oh, you on staff, really, like, it's a, it's a building full of great people. Like, that's what I noticed. Everybody there is genuine love. Like, they're going to make sure you're good and everything. Like, it's just a different feeling. Like, you just come in the building and feel the energy is infectious. You played at Florida State. Your dad coached at Florida State. Was there an overlap? Yes, there was. That uh, year, Coach Taggart, Coach Barnett, and my dad, uh, they all coached there. And then uh, they left my first year, I think. Yeah, that first year they ended up leaving. Coach Norvell came in. I wanted to stay another season just to prove to everybody, like, I can still play. You know what I mean? It's not just my dad. Like, went out there, started a couple games, had an opportunity to 
do some good things out there, get some good film. After that, you know, that was a year of COVID. So we missed a few games. And then after that, um, it was a free year to transfer. I had an uh, interest in Cal coming out of high school. I know they produced some good players and had some good coaches and stuff like that. So I took the opportunity. And then I feel like it just came full circle. Like that last year, well, really last year was supposed to be my last year. I never ended up red shirting. Had a couple injuries, was frustrating, but I mean, looking back at it, it's a blessing in disguise and I wouldn't change anything, just getting this opportunity. What was it like playing with your dad on the coaching staff? Uh, my freshman year, I feel like I matured a lot. You know, he was on me a lot uh, my freshman year, like I'm a freshman, you know what I mean? So I honestly, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at first. Uh, just him being a coach, you know what I mean? But as I've had a chance to mature and me and him have had a chance for our relationship just to skyrocket and grow and being able to talk to him, like, I just feel like now it's totally different. Like, I'm the older guy, you know what I mean? Like, I've been many places and he's looking at me to come in and be that type of leader. And like the things, you know, when you're younger, your parents tell you stuff, you're like, whatever, whatever. Right. You start hearing the same things from different people and then you like just start to appreciate the things they did for you. And that's kind of like just a part of maturing and growing up. And I see those things now and like, we all on the same page and it's just a blessing. And your dad played your position, right? He played defensive back? No, my dad played outside linebacker. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cause I was gonna say, if he played your same position, you should have been listening as a freshman. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so I know exactly what you mean. Cause I played, now this was little league basketball, but you okay. know, when your parent is the coach, they're gonna be extra hard on you right, as a player. Right. So it's a little bit of a struggle, but like you said, you mature now, you're more of a leader on the team, so it's gonna be a different dynamic. Um what has your impression been of this new era of Bethune Cookman football? Uh so far, I mean I've only been around for like two days, but like I said. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, since your dad has came in, the rebuild, uh -huh. all of that. I feel like it's a lot of discipline. That's the first thing with him. Like, he's going to accountability. He's going to hold everybody accountability to, first of all, if you can hold yourself accountable. Like, with anything that goes on, that's one thing I love about him that I can say, like, just seeing from afar, like, as a coach, you see some coaches who don't really take too much accountability, but he's one that win, lose, but mostly losses, things don't go the right way. Like, it's easy for coaches to point fingers. Oh, the players, oh, this, that, and the third. But he's somebody who's going to take that accountability first, and then he's going to hold everybody else in that building to a high standard. That's one thing that I love, and then discipline. Like, he's all about discipline. Be where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there, like, on time. Show respect to everybody, you know what I mean? And then, obviously, like, he's trying to bring in a lot of talented guys. Like, that's one of his – main things everywhere he's been at he's been a great recruiter so he's definitely bringing in guys to change the culture but also good guys like he's had to let go of some guys who were great talents but it doesn't matter he's not going to sacrifice culture for talent and that's one thing that i love you got to be able to do that in order to be successful he does it like he doesn't play no nah, he don't play at all <laughs> Cause he always looks like real stoic. You know what I mean? He looks yeah. real like that. He looks like he looks like that. He be hundred percent of the time. He don't. Play That's why it. I feel like if you capture that video, I feel like that video would have went crazy. No, nah, it would have. <laughs> it would have. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you feeling coming back from your injury? I'm feeling great. I'm hundred percent. It's a blessing. Uh, been able to work out. Feeling good. I'm just excited, ready to get to work. I can't wait. I've been talking to all the guys. Like, it's just, it's a blessing. I keep saying it's a blessing. I just thank God every day. Like, I'm able to be here, able to spend my last year around family, have an opportunity to go to the next level. Like, it's a blessing. I just can't wait to get going. What do you think that you need to show? What's, what do you think is there is left for you to show in order to get to the next level? Uh, really, I just feel like dominating every game, dominating, just going out there, being able to play free, being in control of the defense, just being a leader out there, making plays on the ball, 
touching ball, going to the end zone. Like, that's one thing I definitely want to do, just be able to show off my athleticism with the ball in my hand, come downhill, make tackles, playing coverage, just everything. I just want to show how versatile I am, playing different positions, things like that. What um, aspect of your game are you most known for? Uh, I feel like after the catch, catching interceptions, taking it to the house, and coming downhill and really being an enforcer. And really, yeah, that's something I take pride in. Okay. So you said you were at a basketball game. Which one was it? Uh, the Bethune-Cookman versus FAMU. You know, we had to get the dub to one know, so we got to keep Oh, it y'all won? Throw. Y'all won that game? Yeah, we did. Congrats. Men's or women's? Both. Men's and women's. Congrats. Oh, sweet. 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 <laughs> so are you fully bought into that rivalry now, or you still need some time to, to get into that rivalry? No, I'm fully bought in. Fully bought in. We all, we all fully bought in, felt the energy. You know what I mean? It was crazy. Like, they recruited me out of the portal, which was – that was kind of funny to me. I mean, I got a ton of respect. Who recruited you? Fam, you. They were recruiting oh. me out of the portal. You know, my pops, that rivalry. But I got a lot of respect for all those guys over there, the coaches. They do a great job. You know, I'm, I lived in Tallahassee for some years. You know what I mean? So high school and stuff like that. Know a lot of the guys on the team. But, yeah, fully bought into that rivalry. I'm ready to go. Oh, so they going to have it out for you when y'all play. I mean, because they wanted you is. on their team. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it's just one game at a time, trying to just get better every week. Absolutely. Well, Raymond, I appreciate the conversation. This offseason has been a big one for Bethune Cookman. A lot of Wildcats are super excited. Now we know you have a large part of a large reason for that because you've been working heavy you've been working the portal heavy bringing in some of your guys so they could thank you for some of those big time recruits that you guys have coming in but everyone's excited for this new season this new era under head coach woody jr and of course the third coming in now yes man we're not done yet though we got some more coming soon Oh, some, more some more coming soon. Okay. We're going to be on the lookout. But, Raymond, appreciate the time. Appreciate everyone for tapping into HBCU Game Day, checking us out. I am Simone Stanley. He is Raymond Woody the third. You can call him Ray. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you.